This is S Dog Live. I'm going to show you how to uh, do a track in Pro Tools 9. I'm just going to add some violins to one of my uh, songs that I already did and see what it sounds like. Let me show you a few things about Pro Tools 9. This is kind of hard because I'm taking this video myself. You know how that is. Nobody to do it. So I'm going to use the Expand tool here. Expand 2. If you can see, it's one of the instruments already selected. Expand to, and I already had the violin selected in here. There's a big list of things you can go through. Uh, if you just go up here to the uh, selection, you have all different type of stuff here that you can go through. See all the different things. This expand too comes with Pro Tools. 8 and 9 and all the tools are just tremendous on what there is in here so I'm gonna use the strings and I'm gonna go to violin on the solo violin okay I'm gonna click it on and we're gonna use that in this track okay I'm just gonna add this violin to my track so I'm gonna go over here to the track actually and you just click it on you see it turn red right that means it's record enabled I'm gonna try to put this on the keyboard so you can see what's going on here I know there's a lot of videos and you really can't see what's going on you can see my drum track I did down there on instrument tool okay so when we're ready to record, we just push number three on the keyboard. And see what it sounds like. Here we go. I'm going to wait till it gets to the uh, actual verse to play this, so bear with me. sounds like let's use the uh, tool here to go to the uh, just called transport tool it's in the window help window and it's transport okay when you push transport it goes to the other window here which you can click on where you start at on the tracks this is a quick and easy way to go to track 17 if you want. Okay, I'm going to go to 16 so it doesn't start right away. And we're going to play it. So <laughs> Double click on there on your left mouse button. 
All right, and it's very simple. You can also play notes in there. You can design your own music in there if you want. Uh, you can fix stuff in here. So I go to the track where it starts at me. You see right there where I started off a little bit too late, right? I started off too early, what am I saying? All right, so you go there and you click it over. Look at that. It starts right at the right time now. So when I push play, watch. <laughs> So that's how you edit it. So you want to get out of the editing window, just go up here to the red arrow and it won't stop your session. It just goes back to your regular session now. Okay, so that's a little lesson on Pro Tools 9. Okay, not much of a lesson, but basically it shows you some uh, quick stuff. Now, also, I can actually if I want, I can go click on there, highlight it, go up here to the uh, audio suite, okay, go to other, I can do all kinds of stuff, I can invert it, normalize, reverse it, I'm going to show you one, one thing that I really like a lot. See this time event, time event window? Well, you can go to temples and stuff. You can change stuff in here. You can quantize in here. Just quantize your your track down below. Now you see this how it says note on, preserve, notes, duration. It says quantize grid, one thirty seconds of a note. Well, then you go down here and you push apply. Now it just changed. If you look at the track, watch. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna undo it. Watch it move. See it move? Now I'm gonna go to play again and watch it. So it's gonna set stuff into the 30 second note. See it barely move over? Now let's play it back and see if it did any good. Sometimes it doesn't do too good. You have to mess with it. That's it for the little lesson today. Hope it helped you out a little bit. I'll probably put some more videos up. Alright. Talk to you later.